was in an abusive relationship for four years, um, both emotionally and physically. I ended up leaving in 2017. Um, by the grace of God, he gave me the courage and the strength to leave. Not that I knew it was God at the time. I turned to alcohol to help fix me or I guess cover up the pain that I was feeling. I didn't have a lot of community or friends or anybody to help keep me accountable for the things that I was doing in my life. God kept seeking after me though. And Easter Sunday at Reality in 2018 was the most amazing experience ever. I cried the entire time. I think we had like 15 people get baptized, which was absolutely amazing for somebody that hadn't really felt community or love before. During that service, uh, God put it on my heart to go talk to somebody about getting more involved in the community. And that's when I started going to home group. The first Wednesday I was there, I sat by myself in a corner and people just came and sat around me and started talking to me. Within about two months of sitting and listening every single week, um, the stories and the testimonies and the love and the grace and the forgiveness that Jesus had on their lives, I started just craving it. Like, if he can do this for them, why can't he do it for me? Um, I was still drinking heavenly, and the next morning was Sunday, so I went to church. I walked up to Janine, and I told her what had happened, and out of nowhere, I was saying the words, I want to get sober. My entire relationship with God shifted. My entire relationship with my community shifted. Having 80 something people in a home group love and support you and care for you. I could not have gotten sober had it not been for people cheering me on on a weekly basis and somebody that I could turn to when the temptations grew. And in December of 2018, I got engaged and not something I ever saw myself doing again um, because of the relationship I was in in the past. I didn't think that I could ever be a, wi a wife again. I thought that I was a horrible person because I couldn't be a wife the first time. And the community in and of itself was what got me through it and helped me get over my doubts and my worries and just kept praying for both myself and my fiance. And now we are getting married at the end of the month. I am now about a year and a half sober and I couldn't have done it without my home group or without Jesus.